A device, used for measuring spherical and slash or cylindrical prescription for eyeglasses, from the middle of the 18th century until around 1922, when modern instruments were developed. The term, coined in 1738 by W. Porterfield to describe his Shiner slit optometer, and used for 200 years to describe many different inventions to measure refractive error of the eye, has completely fallen out of usage today as the task of measuring eyes for spectacles is done with modern instruments, such as the phoropter. A phoropter is one of several generic names for modern instruments containing an optometer, battery of lenses for determination of optical error, combined with prisms and other attachments for measuring binocularity. The term refractor is another such term, and vision tester or other descriptive terms are used because phoropter, spelled with or, is actually a trademark of one company. The modern phoropter or refractor. In the middle of the 19th century, doctors tested for optical error using single handheld lenses, held one at a time in front of the patient's eye, or in a trial frame. A wooden case with dozens or hundreds of lenses was held on the doctor's lap, or in a case near the patient's chair, as he or she examined the patient. In the later part of the 19th century, the United States, Germany, France and the UK were actively inventing numerous mechanical optometers, to speed up the process of bringing lenses before the patient's eyes. Various patented or unpatented optometers were sold throughout the later 19th and turn of the 20th centuries, some containing rotating batteries of lenses in various arrangements, usually with the name of the inventor in front of it. Around 1910, binocularity was tested using trial frames which sat on the patient's face or on a support bar, with extra testing devices added to the front of the frames, such as Maddox rods, rotating prisms, and ferrometers. The refraction part of the exam was done with trial lenses that fit into the back of the same trial frame. Optometer was the generic name for devices, crude and simple, with rotating batteries of sphere and cylinder lenses placed in front of each eye, one at a time, so there was no testing for binocularity. When the optometer and ferrometer were combined into single instruments, the modern refractor slash ferropter was born which happened in the middle 1910s when two companies in the New York City area began to market competing versions. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.